So we're at Harvard University talking with students, asking them, what is a greater threat to world peace, ISIS or America? Harvard, it's a prestigious university, a school that would claim it breeds the best and brightest minds from the United States and around the world. So why are they so stupid on campus? The campus reform went to Harvard and asked the question that who's the biggest threat to world peace, America or the Islamic State? The answer turns out is America. America, the bigger threat to world peace. You cannot make this stuff up. Well, Caleb Bonham is with campusreform.org. He joins us now from Washington. Uh, Caleb, uh, were you surprised or is this what you expected? Uh, going in to do this? Well, you know, I was surprised at any time to hear that uh, that millennials would blame uh, or they would claim America is a greater threat to world peace than this terrorist organization that is, you know, bombing, beheading, crucifying people uh, in that region. So, yeah, I was definitely surprised to hear it, but um, it's definitely something that we know at the Leadership Institute's campus reform to be sort of a train of thought that's gaining popularity around the country, the idea that because of America, uh, because of Western values uh, and the way that we've conducted our foreign policy, it's created radical organizations like ISIS. So it's surprising and then also what we've come to see. I, I, I can understand some of those arguments coming through and you could have a discussion on it, but on the issue of saying mm -hmm. America is the bigger threat to world peace, that's shocking. I mean, ISIS is in the middle of taking on the, the Syrian government, the Assad regime. They're, they're knocking on Turkey's door. They're taking on Iraq. Uh, they're knocking on Jordan's door, threatening Israel, threatening Lebanon. That's, that's a lot of countries. And uh, the United States is saying, let's bomb them to help the refugees. Uh, you, you would think people would understand that. Well, exactly. And what it is, it's exactly what you said. There is an argument to be made there. And what I've seen on social media is that that debate is going on because of this. Uh, but it is, that wasn't the question I asked. I, you know, I didn't ask students uh, because of America's foreign policy or our interventionist foreign policy, has this created uh, turmoil in the Middle East? Uh, the question was, what is the greater threat to world peace, right. well, let, America let, let, or ISIS? Let, let's play some of the answers right now, and these are the, the best and brightest on the campus of Harvard. What is a bigger threat to world peace, America or ISIS? To world peace? Well, America. In many ways, I have to think it's America because America is making decisions that are much more likely to affect the world. What is a greater threat to world peace, America or ISIS? Um, I think American imperialism and our protection of oil interests in the Middle East are destabilizing the region and allowing uh, groups like ISIS to gain power. As a Western civilization, we're to blame for a lot of the problems that we're facing now. I don't think anyone would argue that we didn't create the problem of ISIS ourselves. We are at some level the cause of it. Did, didn't ISIS really develop out of Syria, uh, where the United States and other Western powers decided not to intervene? I thought uh, Bright Minds at Harvard would know George, this. It's all George Bush's fault. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's, all, it's all George Bush's fault. Uh, this, uh, this reminds me of an MRC, uh, Media Research Center, they did something similar. They asked uh, students, I think it was on George Mason campus, would you sign a petition in support of ISIS? And they got people on campus doing it. Those people seemed rather ignorant. These people at least felt like they knew what was going on. Were, were you approaching stupid people? Were exactly. You just editing, were, or were you just editing out all the folks that said, definitely ISIS? Well, here's the thing, Brian. Uh, the first few people that we spoke with did say that ISIS was a greater threat to world peace. They acknowledged it. But then it was person after person after person that we spoke with that, that said that it was America's problem. And it is because, in my opinion, and what we're seeing at the Leadership Institute's campus reform, is what these kids are being taught. You mentioned the Dan Joseph video. Uh, they, they got students at George Mason University to sign a, a petition to support ISIS. Uh, there was a, a couple professors from a New York college that were claiming that, for instance, ISIS was created by, wait for it, climate change. Essentially, that if you're not driving around a Prius or you're using plastic water bottles, that you are to blame for the creation of, of the radical terrorist group that's going around beheading people. And, and that was from New York City professors. So naturally, you know, you can sit there in class and absorb this sort of stuff and be an intelligent person, but, but 
you know, really start to believe this craziness that's being taught across campuses uh, all across the country. It does make me question the value of a university education. Uh, how much does it cost to go to somewhere like Harvard? I, I, I believe it's forty, sixty thousand dollars a year. It's fifty-eight to sixty thousand dollars, I believe. Okay, fifty-eight to sixty thousand dollars. Money not well spent. Caleb, thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll try and make sure that we tweet out and Facebook and uh, get the word out about your video. Thanks so much.